Fitting the Architect VES-2 is quite easy to do. The telescope is attached to the frame with a mounting bracket with two set screws on the bottom which when loosened allow us to move the telescope right to left to line it up for the patient's pupillary distance. There are two side screws, Allen screws, that will allow us to change the angle of inclination of the telescope so when the patient drops their head down to look into it, they're sighting directly through the telescope. To switch it to a right eye version, remove the screws completely Take the telescope off the plate, flip it over to the other side, and reposition the side screws, and now you have a telescope position for the right eye. There are three steps to fitting the telescope. Slide the telescope right and left to get the eyepiece lined up properly. Adjust the bridge to get the frame as low as you possibly can, so that the top of the frame lines up with the top of the pupil. And lastly, change the angle of inclination so that when the patient drops their head down, they're looking directly through the eyepiece. So let's place it on the patient. We don't want the telescope so loose that it won't stay where you leave it. So I'm going to tighten the side screws up just a little bit, not so snug that I can't move it, but not so loose that it won't stay where you position it. So now we can change the angle and it's staying where we would like it. So we'll place it on the patient, drop the head down to look into the eyepiece, slide the telescope right to left until the patient can see a full view coming in through the eyepiece. Got it? Yep. And then I'm holding it so that it won't move and I'll tighten that screw so it stays in place. Step two, we'll adjust the bridge so the telescope is low as we can get it. The top of the frame is pretty close to the top of the pupil. And that's about right. Now we'll ask the patient to drop the head to look in the telescope and we'll change the angle of inclination so that he's looking directly through the telescope straight through. And once we have the telescope lined up properly, we'll come in from the side, tighten that side screw so it doesn't move. And then we ask the patient to reach up to change the focus so that when they look through the telescope, it's nice and sharp. Okay. Great. That's so when good. it looks straight ahead, with the regular vision, you look with your normal prescription, and when you need the magnified vision, you dip your head down. Okay. Step one, line the telescope right to left so that the eyepiece lines up with the pupil. Step two, adjust the bridge to get the frame as low as you possibly can so that the top of the frame lines up with the top of the pupil. And lastly, change the angle of the telescope so that when the patient drops their head down, they're looking directly through the eyepiece.